Hi, my name is Callum Barnes. I'm the head of product for Speech in Google Cloud. Today, I'm going to be talking about Google Cloud speech to text, text to speech, and how you can use them to power new voice interfaces. Later in the session, we'll hear from Ryan Wheeler from Toyota Connected about how Toyota is using speech in their vehicles. I'm going to start off by talking a little bit about the history and legacy of speech here at Google, then tell you all about our offerings in cloud. And what I'm most excited about is today we're going to be introducing two new speech and voice technologies. One is speech on device, the ability to run speech and text-to-speech models locally on devices, as well as speech to text API v2, our latest and greatest on the cloud side. Let's get started by telling you a little bit about the last 20 years of speech at Google, though. Google really started working on speech in 2001, and the very first speech product we introduced was actually called 1-800-GOOG-411. This gave you the ability to call up Google and speak your search query before everybody had access to the internet. This was mostly like white pages queries for businesses and other types of information that you might be able to get from the search engine, even if you didn't have access to the internet. As you can imagine, this wasn't around for very long, before most people were online and the ability to call Google wasn't needed. However, Google continued to leverage this research into the speech space to launch Google Voice Search in 2010. Most of you have probably experienced this at one time or another, whether it's pressing the microphone button to search on your mobile phone uh, or on the desktop so that you don't need to type your query. This legacy and these languages that they started on in speech gave way to years and years of research at Google into speech technology. In 2010, Google were one of the first to apply what were at the time modern machine learning techniques to speech recognition so that they could more robustly and more accurately transcribe short utterances. This research ultimately gave way to the availability of Google Assistant and other voice agent and virtual assistant technologies. On the Google Cloud side, in 2017, we first announced the availability of Google Cloud speech to text, which gave enterprises their first ability to take advantage of what at the time was 15 years of speech work and research from Google. Fast forward to uh, today, we have even more research coming out, and we continue to make the latest and greatest speech research, including things like end-to-end -end conformer speech models, Tocatron text-to-speech models available to all Google Cloud customers. As you can see from all these products, it's not just cloud. Speech is everywhere at Google, whether that's interacting with the Google Assistant, seeing captions in YouTube, interacting with Android apps that have speech features, or seeing live captions in Google Meet. Our goal in Google Cloud is to take all of this technology and all the expertise around speech and voice that have been built up at Google over the years and make them available to enterprises to use in their own applications and power their own voice experiences. So let's talk about what tools we have today in Google Cloud for developers and companies to build and leverage these technologies. With our first offering, we have the Speech-to-Text API. This is an automatic speech recognition system that allows developers to send audio to the cloud and get the transcription text directly back. What's great about this API is that you can get high quality results right out of the box without ever having to do any training, customization, or tuning on the model. You can really get started on day one. It's easy to get started in any language because we have support for over 75 languages in 120 different locales. This means that no matter what language your audio is in, you can get started with just the API without needing to do anything else. Now, our goal is to give high quality results in as many cases as possible, but we understand that for some use cases, customization is going to be necessary. And that's why the speech text API is extremely flexible. You can use it with multiple channels of audio, multiple speakers in the same channel to separate them. You can have unspoken punctuation to automatically insert marks into text, or spoken punctuation if you want users to be able to dictate the punctuation that they're looking for. Of course, we also know that 
some use cases require modifications and tuning of the speech-to-text models in order to get the best results. Usually that could be for specific industry terms, specific company names, et cetera. And you can use the speech adaptation API to tune the speech model to get the best results every time. This is true whether you're trying to understand a specific brand name or at an individual query level to understand a specific artist name or song name, for example. What this means is that you can get high quality transcription no matter what your use case is with the speech-to-text API. Whether you're doing captioning and subtitles of media content or building a virtual agent to interact with your application, it's easy to get started right out of the box. For other use cases, perhaps you're taking the speech-to-text and using it as part of a machine learning pipeline or as part of something else that you want to do with the text, like understanding the topics in it, summarizing it, or doing sentiment analysis. It's easy to use the speech-to-text API as part of these pipelines as well. And whether you're interacting directly with users or your consumer is a downstream model, we try to solve as many of the challenges you might have as possible, dealing with different speakers, robustness to background noise or different acoustic environments, detecting what languages users are speaking, sensitivity to specific words or phrases, if you know that you need to pick up every time somebody says a specific word, as well as long, complex, non-standard sentence phrasing, depending on your use case. All of this combined means it's super easy to get started right out of the box, and then tune the API as you go for whatever your needs may be. Once you've transcribed speech from your customers, many of our customers also want to be able to interact or speak back to their users. And that's where the text-to-speech API comes in. You can take text and synthesize it into audio in one simple step with the text-to-speech API from Google Cloud. Just like with, with speech-to-text, it's designed to work great out of the box. So we have over 400 voices that are available that you can choose from in 50 plus different languages to synthesize speech today. Speaking out of the box, you get access to Google's great text normalization. What this means is you actually leverage information Google has about how every word is pronounced in different languages. And you can use this so that when you send text the first time, you don't have to worry about passing custom pronunciations or figuring out what phonemes make up the word the way you want to say it. It works right out of the box for street names, song names, things like that. Now, of course, just like with speech-to-text, we understand that sometimes you need to customize your output in order to get what you're looking for. And that's why the text-to-speech API has full support for Lucid SSML markup, which will help you customize things like prosody, speed, and pass custom pronunciations if you need them. Now that we've talked about what's available on the web, I want to talk about what we're making available today, which is Speech on Device from Google Cloud. Speech on Device brings all the great services that we've just talked about available locally on embedded devices. This means that you can run our speech models, whether that's automatic speech recognition or speech synthesis, directly on your embedded device with no connectivity required. This is great for situations where you have low or no connectivity or only very expensive bandwidth options. It also helps preserve your user's privacy because you can tell your users that their voice and their speech is never leaving the local device. Now, all of this is available without having to compromise on quality. These aren't terse speech models that only work for specific situations, specific commands, or specific words. These are the same great models that you've used and are used to on the cloud side, available to run locally with just a fraction of the compute power necessary. They expose local services that can run on multi-core ARM processors, whether they're running Linux or Android. Speech on device is available today, so you can contact your seller to learn more and get started. I'm now going to hand it over to Ryan Wheeler from Toyota Connected to tell us more about how Toyota is leveraging speech services in their vehicles today. Ryan? Hey, Callum. Thanks. So we knew when we wanted to modernize and make the best voice experience possible for Toyota customers that we would need to design our own deep learning dialogue natural language understanding system. But a portion of that for the speech recognition, um, we knew we needed to leverage state of the art technology as well. By partnering with Google, we were able to continuously deliver the best speech to text experience and the best experience for Toyota customers. What this allowed us to do was to rapidly develop machine learning systems and rapidly develop APIs 
and deploy code very quickly. We also had the experience that every time Google would make changes or updates to their state-of-the-art deep learning speech-to-text technologies, Toyota customers constantly experience those same updates for improvements to the system overall. And then for the next generation of multimedia services that Toyota Connected is looking to help develop, we knew that we needed a way to help continue that local processing only. One of the things that we wanted to be able to do was to offer the same experience, whether the customer was connected or not, or if you could imagine when you're driving for offline or low connectivity scenarios. Here, we uniquely partnered with Google and used their newly developed speech on device technology to create natural language understanding systems that can run in low and no connectivity environments, all still while being state of the art. We also have the ability that the customers can choose to set privacy preserving controls, thereby giving them greater control over what data is sent and stored outside of the car. And now back to you, Callum. Thanks so much, Ryan. That's super exciting to hear about how Toyota is using speech services, both in the cloud and on device. And I'm excited to hopefully take advantage of them in my next car being a Toyota or Lexus. Thanks so much. Now I'm gonna go back to talking about the cloud and what's new and available on the speech-to-text side for our cloud customers. Back in April of 2022, we announced the addition of the latest long and latest short speech models. These models took advantage of new research at the time from Google called conformer models. These are end-to-end -end deep learning models that take audio and convert it directly to text, as opposed to other ASR techniques which leverage multiple intermediate steps and models. This makes it easier for us to optimize towards quality as opposed to various different intermediates. What we've seen is that we've gotten great increases in robustness from this, where we can get better accuracy across different types of accents and speakers, as well as different and unique acoustic environments with things like background noise or different types of microphones. Ultimately, we've seen the greatest gains in accuracy on long form speech and in the variety of environments that I was just talking about. We've heard great feedback from customers about how they're using these models and what they're doing with them, but we wanna take it even further, and that's why today we're announcing the availability of Speech-to-Text API v2 in public preview. The goal of v2 is to help us take the research that's coming from Google and make it available to you, our enterprise customers, even faster. Speech-to-Text API v2 will follow a modern resourceful API design this will allow us to bring many new Google Cloud-wide features like Ubermint, single region data residency, and cloud audit logging to you as part of the speech-to-text API. We've also designed it to be ready for conformers and the future of speech models. This will allow us to bring these models in as the everyday models as opposed to just offering the latest. It will also set us up for ultra-large speech models in the future and whatever new things come down the pipe from Google research. We also want to assure customers that this doesn't mean the V1 API is going away or that their integrations will break. We're not deprecating the V1 API, and all of your requests will still continue to work, even if you don't decide to migrate and change your code to take advantage of Speech-to-Text API v2. There's a whole bunch of great new features, and we really want to get your feedback. So please go check it out and try it today. It's available in public preview. All right, thank you so much for joining me to hear about the speech services at Google and how you can use them to power your own speech and voice applications. Uh, thank you. <laughs>